Good morning, everyone. This is Deacon Up coming to you again from Power in Unity Ministry. Oh, the Lord has been downloading on me this morning, and I'm going to download on you this morning. His word of encouragement that he's asked me to give to each and every one is not to give you a hype. It is to encourage you in the God of all creation, to encourage you in the God who created all time, dominion, and space who lives in all these time frames, in all the dominions at one time, who hears every cry of every heart of every human it, all, all the time at once, who is everywhere at once. He sees all, hears all, knows all. This is the God we serve. It's not a hype. It's a reality to those who learn and know who he is through his holy word. My word and my God, <laughs> I am so looking on the horizon for I am one of those who've been waiting for so long to be released, to be launched off that pad, so to speak. But first, let me tell you, thank you for all the thumbs up. I appreciate each one. And thank you for passing the word on and the people that have subscribed to us. And I may be a little bit slow. I want to apologize now, getting back to you with an answer. If you have asked me something or have made a comment, I always like to comment back to you um, because um, I'm in the process of trying to gather up things to to, uh, to 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 move to our new location. And also, good news, hopefully, um, by next week, maybe, our website will be up and you'll be able to put your request on. And I want to have some books. I'm trying to get some books ready so anybody who donates can ask for a book, um, uh, one of the books. Um, <laughs> they're all up in my other place. They're packed away and they need to come out. And I need to refresh them. That's what I'm trying to do now. So I'm just letting you know for every donation, you know, if, if you've donated in the past and, and I didn't have the books available and you want to, um, you want a book, you know, you just ask for it. But all that's going to happen once we get the website up. Just letting you know there's good things in it. There's good things in the future, but not so much with us as with God. <laughs> the God that is revealing things to his people and what's about to come. Oh, let me, I'm so excited, but let me get started. Or it won't be morning again. <laughs> Praise be unto God. He says, it is time to come out of that dry but thirsty place. See, there's many of us who've been going through desert places, dry places, but yet the thirst for God has been so real in us the whole time that we're in these dry, dry desert places. This is what I thought of the minute he said that sign that to me. But let me repeat it again and just go on. It is time to come out of that dry but thirsty place with great expectations and haste. No time to waste for I am about to pick up the pace. Ooh, hallelujah. I hear that and I just want to shout. This world has been in a drought, but I am about to turn that about. You will begin to smell my essence as I begin showering my presence. Ooh, hallelujah, Boshanamai. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. His power is going to be able to start shining through us. His glory is about to overcome us. Hallelujah. You see the clouds high up in the sky? I'm about to open them wide. My Lord, it was just like he was saying, okay, look up. You see the clouds? And I began to look up and I saw these great, big, gray clouds. They were dark in number. But as they came closer to the earth, they began to be white clouds. And they were huge. And it was it, it happened just like you would crack an egg on the side of something before you break it into your pan to cook it. it, it they just opened up opened up and the showers of his glory just begin to pour out. Ooh, hallelujah. I don't know if I can read that again. <laughs> I'm going to try because he is 
He has loaded my wagon this morning. This world has been in a drought, but I'm about to turn it about. You will begin to smell my essence, my power, my glory, my grace as I begin showering my presence. You see the clouds high in the sky. I'm about to open wide. And then I heard the creator of all dimension, space, and time is about to change your timeline. Oh, hallelujah. Where you've been is no longer going to be. Where, where you want to go is going to open up wide. Hallelujah. 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 The God of all creation, the creator of all dimension, space, and time is about to change your timeline. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have waited so long to feel that inner peace and me for you to release. All I have put in you will come forth fresh and new. It's not like it stays stagnated. It's not like it was a sponge that just stayed there and, and began to stink because you knew you've been trying to release it to whosoever, however you can in small dimensions. But he's about to give extension to those dimensions. Hallelujah. <laughs> he's about to launch you forth. Hallelujah. <laughs> Change your course. Hallelujah. But then he says, he warned, there will be dips and valleys. But listen, there will be dips and valleys, but in them do not dilly-dally. They are to keep you in tune with me with spiritual eyes you will always see. Woo, hallelujah. As with each step we agree, you will see the traps that were set for thee. There is a harvest reserved for you. As you go tell the good news. You hear what he is saying to you this morning? You may be in that dry place, but you have never lost that hunger and that thirst to know who he is, to be launched. This world may be in a drought, but he's about to turn it around. We're going to see his essence by his presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The creator of all time is about to change your timeline. He's waiting. You have waited so long to feel that inner peace and for him, you to release. Oh, all I have put in you will come forth fresh and new. Your feet on a new path released at last there are dips and valleys but in them do not dilly dally they are there to keep you in tune with me with spiritual eyes you will always see as with each step we agree that's that unity with the lord you will see traps that have been set for thee there's a harvest reserved for thee as you go and tell for, and reserve for you to go as you go tell the good news as my showers become rain hallelujah out of these clouds with showers coming down from heaven he says now they're becoming rain many will see truth again they will weep and cry as to sin they now die receiving the power of Pentecost they now go out to win the lost Minds are clear, revived visions that were dead. They in God's son are now wed. The souls, the harvest that's been reserved for you, hallelujah, is going to go out there and win the lost just like you, hallelujah. Because now with God's son, they're wed and their visions no longer are dead. My church is alive. Demons now have nowhere to hide, running into each other as they run for cover. <laughs> How cool is that? Ooh, hallelujah. My church is alive. Demons now have nowhere to hide, running into each other as they run for cover. Why? My flames of 
fire are blazing throughout the land. Now in Christ, they're taking command. Satan's feet bound in quicksand for a season by the great I am. Woo! Hallelujah! My Lord and my God. Now this may seem like a thousand, a thousand years, but it's not. It's now. It's now. He's doing it. He's about to do things, turn things around and inside out and upside down. Woo, a season of reprieve, a great number of souls to receive. Did he not say in his word that the latter rain would be greater than the former? That's the harvest. The end time harvest. A season of reprieve, a great number of souls to receive. A time for mentors to train. Here we go again. Mentors to train. Now new souls heaven has gained. They need mentors. They need teachers. Teach them in love, not with a whip, and that I will pick them up when they trip. Babies first crawl, then they learn to stand tall. Now trained to see with spiritual eyes, now are discerning and wise, seeing through the Satan's disguise, through all of his deception and lies. That's what the mentors need to be doing with these new Christians. We need to teach them in love. That God will pick them up. Now standing with sword in hand, ready to fight this, to de ready to defend this land. In battle, they do not fight alone. Their leader, the one who their sins atone. Ooh, his name is Jesus. And right about here, they, like the Lord just stopped me in my tracks. And Heaven opened up and I begin to see a host of angels descending towards the earth, ready for battle. They were in battle gear. They were warriors in heaven coming down to join us in battle. The closer they came, some looked like blazing shoots of flames of fire. Maybe like you'd see a lightning bolt. I can remember way back when. We were standing in, in, in a, in a, uh, actually it was in a pecan orchard and it started lightning and there was a lightning bolt came down so close that it, it looked like it was the, the size of a tree trunk when it hit the ground. Kapow! And, and that's what I saw. Some of them were like, were like flaming angels coming down, but then some, were in darker uniforms. They had huge wings and they had swords drawn and they were like, like bombs coming down for lack of a better word. And they were already diving into the battle, the fight. We're not alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they were ready to complete a mission they had been standing by, waiting for, for many, many centuries, for generations, for God to call them forth. I believe that's the hour we're living in, people. That was, I mean, he stopped me in my tracks. I just, I, I, and, and I was just, I was dazed and amazed at what I saw. It seemed all of heaven was it called. And I said, Lord, what is the purpose of this vision? And he said, many are in the valley of decision. Whether to believe my word or in the world what they've heard. It is time the, de the decision be made whether to be lost or to be saved. To pick up their sword, join the fight for truth, justice, and what is right. The enemy made you feel alone, but seeds of love in you were sown. Release your faith and I will give you a taste of the true liberty and cover you with my grace. Changing your heart's desire and setting you on fire. Now seeing the power inside Jesus 
in you now abides. His anointing will begin to flow as you keep growing. Will begin flowing as you keep growing. Faith will increase and doubt will decrease. With each step you take, bondages you will break. Jesus is now your high tower. Faith released is his power and his power. You no longer crumble and fall as you receive his call. In his strength you walk. In his anointing, you talk, my Lord and my God. If I may, after the vision, I want to repeat what he just said. Because it jumps from one thing to another. He tells us where we're about to come out of this drought. And that we're going into new things. And then he tells us about his church. And now he's telling us about us being mentors to the newborn in Christ, that they get their feet grounded in righteousness and that they have a decision to make. So he just goes on and on. So after this vision, because the devil tries to make you feel like you're standing out here all alone. I remember my mind goes back to Elijah. He's, he felt he was all alone, but God said, oh no, I have 7,000 not bow to need a bail. Come on. Their leader is the one who their sins did atone. And then he says, I, I mean, I said, I sat there dazed and amazed at what I has, what I saw. It just seemed all of heaven was on call. Oh, hallelujah. What a vision so strong. I said, Lord, what is the purpose of this vision? And he said, many are in the valley of decision, whether to believe my word or in the world what they've heard. It is time the division, the decision be made to die lost or saved. To pick up their sword, join the fight for truth, justice, and what is right. The enemy made you feel alone, but seeds of love in you I had sown. Release your faith and I will give you a taste of true liberty and cover you with my grace. Changing your heart's desire and setting you on fire. Now seeing the power inside, Jesus in you now abides. His anointing will begin flowing as you keep growing. Faith will increase and doubt will decrease. Hallelujah. With each step you take, bondages you will break. That's faith will break them. Jesus now is your high tower. Faith releases his power. You no longer crumble and fall as you receive his call. In his strength you walk and in his anointing you talk. Now passing through the fires and tests, righteousness is now written upon your vest. In a white robe you are dressed, receiving Christ, heaven's best. With hands raised, it is Jesus you now praise, shouting with one voice, Jesus is our choice. Woo! Hallelujah to the Lamb. What a powerful word from the Lord this morning. My advice, when you can get alone with him, that you will let this, repeat this, listen to it again. Don't have to see it. Listen to it again and let it go deep into your spirit and revive those visions and those dreams and those hopes you had. Praise God. Now the scriptures he gave me are awesome as the word. Praise God. Isaiah 44, 3 says, I will pour water on him who is thirsty and floods on the dry land. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have to go back and just read that first one if I can find it real quick. That first thing he said, it's time to come out of that dry but thirsty place with great expectations and haste. <laughs> and he says here, pick out. Uh, Isaiah 44, 3, I will pour water on him who's thirsty and floods on the dry ground. 
I I love Isaiah, and you're going to see. I, I picked Isaiah three or four times here. Isaiah 43, 2 and 3 says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. He's telling us he's we're not alone. He is with us. He is guiding us. He is leading us. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned or shall the flames not won't even scorch you. For I, the Lord, am your God. Hallelujah. He never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Though we, we, we uh, put the Old Testament and the New Testament in their proper place, he is the same God in the old as he is in the new. The same in the new as he was in the old. Hallelujah. But strengthen through the Holy Spirit because we are filled and we go forth. Isaiah 46 10 says I am God and there is none like me declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and I will do it all at my pleasure it is his time it is his space it is his dimension that all these things come about we live in this third dimension. He lives in all dimensions. And he says, I am God. There is none like me. I am declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times. Things that have not yet been done. Oh, we're about to see amazing release of God and his power. Ephesians three seventeen through 19, 19, 20 says that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is that width, height, depth, width, length, depth, and height. To know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God now in him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or even think according to the power that works in us. According to your faith in the God that lives in you. Hallelujah. All the depths, the height, the length, and the breadth of every dimension belongs to God. And he's offered it to you. He's offered it to me through the Christ of Calvary. My Lord and my God. Deuteronomy 33, 2 through, what, two through 4 says, let my teachings drop as rain. My speech, this is Moses talking because he got the word from God, just like the prophets get the word from God to release to his people that they may be revived, that they may be, they may glorify and that they may be not stagnated, but they will be released and they will not they will not be in dry places anymore, but they will be on the launching pad to go forward. My Lord and my God, that's what it's all about, to increase the body of Christ, to, to revive our visions and our dreams. Praise God. He says, let my teachings drop like rain. My speech dwell as the dew. Let it linger as as raindrops on a tender herb as and as showers on the grass. It just lingers. Let my word, let the word of the Lord sink in. These are powerful words. I'm actually going to actually write, now I won't write them, but I'll give you each verse that has been put in my heart to give you today that you will see how it matches with the word he gave me. But not only that, how it will grip your heart to understand who you are and who this God is in you. My Lord and my God, let me see if I can finish this. As showers on the grass, for I proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. He is the rock. His way is perfect, for all his ways are just, a God of truth and without unjust. Righteous and upright is he. This is is the God that we serve through Jesus Christ, his son who lives in us. Hallelujah. 
Ephesians 5, 6, 26 to 27. Please. I can't ask you enough to reread this and to get your Bible out and to pull these verses out. You may want to pull it out in all these different translations. This is in the, uh, um, oh my goodness, I can't even think of the name of my Bible right now. But anyway, it's 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 one of the translations. Praise God, I'm sorry. When you run a gravit trail, the Lord pulls you right back. Okay, Ephesians 5, 26 and 27 says that he might sanctify, he might set apart and cleanse her, his church, by the washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. That is the church that is on fire for God. Hallelujah. His church is without spot or wrinkle. Do we have do we have faults? Yes. Do we do we trip sometimes? Yes. His church is without spot. Because what do we do when that happens? We repent. What do we do? We pick ourselves up and we go forth again for Jesus. We're not perfect, but we strive to be. And it's all because of that so seeds of love he's planted so deep. Hallelujah. He will, his church is without spot or wrinkle. Mistakes, little twist is not sin, people. It's not sin. It's not evil. It's growing, growing pains. I can remember like yesterday. I used, I, I was doing, I would go to church. I was so on fire and I would go to church and I would be so full. And then Monday would come, Tuesday would come and I was, I was falling back into things and, and Wednesday would come and I'd get revived again. And then for Thursday and Friday and Saturday would come and I would just get limp again so to speak to in drug back in trying to drink drug drag me back in and this young lady came to me and she said i know i'm getting along but i can't help you i gotta i gotta tell you this and this young lady 16 years old she came to me and she said i have a word for you it embarrassed me i was in my 20s and she was 16 actually was i in my 20s i was in my 30s she says, God has said to tell you that you cannot live from Sunday to Wednesday, from Wednesday to Sunday, that you have to get a grip on Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday and learn to live for him seven days a, a week. 24 hours a day, not allowing the world to pull you back in. And it embarrassed me to think that I had to have a young person younger than me to tell me that. But it stuck with me and I'm 80 years old and I've never forgot those words that God put in her for me. He cared that much for my soul not to let me fall. And he cares that much for you not to let you fall. It wasn't that I was going back into sin. I had no desire to do that. But the world was pulling and pulling. And I had to get Jesus under my feet. I had to gird my waist with truth. And my feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. You see, I wasn't at peace because I didn't know. And sad to say, there were many people at church that I'd go to church and I ask a question and they wouldn't know how to answer me. I don't get it. I could, I didn't understand that. I had to go to God and God never failed to answer. I had people coming to my door at one time and they were of another, uh, <laughs> I don't want to say faith. They were of another religion. And, and by, by showing me things in the Bible and, and showing me, uh, 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 they had, um, movies, movie things. And, and I go over there and I was listening and I was listening and something was not sitting straight in my spirit about what they were saying. And, and I couldn't understand. I said, Lord, it, it sounds good. It sounds right. And he says, no, no. 
They're telling you one truth to get you to believe a lie. My blood is what saves, not water. It's my blood that saves. My blood that I shed. It covers. And so when they came back to my door one day, I told them, I said, the Lord said, no, I'm not to listen to you anymore. That I, that you're an evil deceiver. You know, partial truth and you try to put in the world and the, and, and God at the same and it doesn't work. They called me an evil. They said that I was filled because I had the Holy Ghost in me that I was, um, I was, uh, I was demon possessed. That's what they were saying. And I said, well, it brings me joy and it brings me peace. So I'll take what God has said. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I just had to throw that in because uh, somebody out there must have needed it. But skipping a beat, losing your traction, me, you must, something might have come out of your mouth you said wrong that you didn't mean to say it the way it came out and you know those are not sins people those are stepping stones those are things to learn by God's church is holy pure now I'm not saying you you don't use your faith and you don't use the justice of God and 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 the favor and the right and the grace of God, Jesus Christ uh, that saves you. To be able to go out and commit sin, you know what I'm saying. You're very smart people out there. You know what I'm saying. But I know how the devil will try to put words in your mouth, too, and words in your mind that aren't truth. But I'm just saying we all make mistakes. We're human. And we're well, nobody's going to be perfect till they, till they get that new body. Only Jesus was perfect. And he still is. And he's still speaking for us at the right hand of God the Father. One more I want to read. And at Zechariah 10, 1, it says, Ask the Lord for rain in the time of the latter rain. The Lord will make flashing clouds. He will give them showers of rain, grass in the food for everyone. Grass in the field for everyone. You see what he has said to us this morning and how these scriptures just absolutely would fill in any gap. My Lord and my God, I can't even, I, I, I am so, I am so full and so amazed at how he brings all this together. My Lord and my God, ask the Lord for the rain in the time of the latter rain. It's coming. He already said so. He said the showers that I saw in that first vision will become rain. And it will feed everyone who will come. Praise God. The Lord will make flashing clouds. What was the second vision? Some of those angels were like flashing, burning, brilliant flames of fire. And he will give them showers of rain coming down. Grass in the fields for everyone. Food for everyone. Spiritual food. Hallelujah. <laughs> I know I got to close. Oh my goodness. If you don't know this God, all you got to do is say, Lord, I am a sinner. Out of the ark of safety, I ask you, Jesus, into my heart. I ask you to cleanse me, wash me clean in your blood. Then I ask you to mold me, make me, fill me, and then use me for your kingdom work. And that's all it takes. All the old things have passed away. Marx erases them out of the book, and all things become new. Hallelujah. In him there is no condemnation. And you are in him. Whosoever receives my son shall not perish. Praise be unto God. It says simple. Find a, a, a God-fearing, devil-stomping church and get filled. And then go to work. Praise God. I want you to know I love you so much. And I, God loves you so much more.